Music Perpetual Mobile, Moto Perpetuo, Movement Perpa Copyright Tuel, Movimento Perpa Copyright Tuo Movimiento Perpetuo, literally meaning perpetual motion, has two distinct meanings, pieces of music, or parts of pieces, characterized by a continuous steady stream of notes, usually at a rapid tempo, or whole pieces, or large parts of pieces, which are to be played repeatedly, often an indefinite number of times. As separate compositions. As a separate piece, a perpetual mobile can be defined as a composition where the piece is intended to be repeated a number of times, without the motion of the melody being halted when a repeat begins. Canons are often intended to be performed in a moto perpetuo fashion. In some cases the repeats of a perpetual mobile piece are at a different pitch. Some of the riddle canons of Bach's Das Musikalische Opfer are examples of this particular kind of perpetual mobile canon perpetuous. Perpetual mobile as a genre of separate musical compositions was at the height of its popularity by the end of the 19th century. Such pieces would often be performed as virtuoso encores, in some cases increasing the tempo along the repeats. Examples, perpetual mobile pieces of both kinds include equals classical period equals the finale of Haydn's String Quartet No. 53 in D Major, Op. 64, No. 5, Beethoven's 22nd Piano Sonata, and large segments of the finales of his Tempest and Appassionata Sonatas. The second of Franz Schubert's Impromptus, D899. Equals Romantic Period equals, the finale of Karl Maria von Weber's Piano Sonata No. 1, Charles Valentin Alkins Le Chemin de Fer, Op. 27, for piano. Felix Mendelssohn's Perpetuum Mobile, op. 119, for piano. Atoka Novesk's Perpetuum Mobile, for violin and piano. Nicholas Squared Paganini's Moto Perpetuo op. 11 for violin. Most often performed with a rather insignificant obbligato accompaniment. When scored for wind instruments it becomes a virtuoso challenge of circular breathing and double tonguing. Nikolai Rimsky Kosakov's Flight of the Bumblebee, an interlude for his opera The Tale of Tsar Salton. Johann Strauss II's Perpetuum Mobile, Musikliche Scherz for Orchestra. Robert Schumann's Hashman from Kindesnen. Beda and registered trademark Exmaterna's album Leaf No. 3 from 6 album Leaves Op. 2. Equals 20th century equals, Movement, a 1905 piano composition by Claude Debussy. The second movement of Prokofiev's Piano Concerto No. 2. True Our Movements Purple Copyright Tools, a 1918 piano composition by Francis Poulenc. The end of the opera was Ek, Act 3 Scene 5, by Alban Berg. The last movement of Morris Ravel Sonata for Violin and Piano. The last movement of the Violin Concerto by Samuel Barber. The last movement of Bar Copyright La Barta Cubed K's Concerto for Orchestra. Prelude No. 2 in A minor from 24 Preludes and Fugues by Dmitry Shostakovich. The final movement of Benjamin Britten's Cello Sonata in C major Op. 65. Also the third movement of his Suite for Violin and Piano Op. 6, the finale of his first solo cello suite and the penultimate movement of his third cello suite. Arvo par currency RT's orchestral perpetuum mobile. Perpetuum mobile for pedals alone a showpiece for organ by Wilhelm Middelschult. Fracture, a moto perpetuo piece based on the whole tone scale composed by guitarist Robert Fripp and included on the 1974 album Starless and Bible Black. John Adams's short ride in a fast machine. Perpetuum mobile by Penguin Cafe Orchestra. Equals 21st century equals. Equus by Eric Whittaker, the album Perpetuum Mobile by the German avant garde group Einster One Quarter as N. Newbaton has some examples of the concept. Neil Part's drum solo Moto Perpetuo on Rush's 2011 album Time Machine 2011, Live in Cleveland, Fade into Darkness by Avisa, inspired by Penguin Cafe Orchestra's Perpetuum Mobile, Collide by Leona Lewis and Avisa, based on Perpetuum Mobile by Penguin Cafe Orchestra and Penguin by Avisar.